laptops, iPads, tablets, cell phones, those are the big ones, right? Computers, anything with Bluetooth, Wi-Fi based devices, big source that a lot of new parents kind of figure out as they get into the natural health based scene is that baby monitors, huge source of EMFs. So you wanna keep that at least six feet away from your baby. You still be able to hear just fine, but of course, much less exposure to them and yourself as well. Wi-Fi routers anywhere in the house is a big issue. Smart TVs where that Wi-Fi is being beamed to. Microwave ovens still is a big source of EMFs and non-ionizing radiation. Whole house meters, I talked about this in my book, The Rain Barrel Effect years ago, still valid to this day. Whole house meters now are becoming even more popular. And so that the trucks basically that read your electrical meter, they don't need to stop and take a look at your meter anymore. More, they can simply drive by or what happens is one house beams to the next house which beams to the next house which eventually goes to the tracking base station or a vehicle that's able to read all of these power lines can be one and varying forms of MRIs or medical based devices so these are all ways that we're exposed I mean every single one of us exposed to EMFs in some way or another or radiation on a daily basis it's so difficult based on the modern world that we live in so we can simply try to do our best. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.